Okay, we're from here. We'll just say for the sake of it, I chose to pin her down on this side. I'm gonna come here, get nice and tight. Maybe I lift up, grab that lapel. And again, if you really need to, if you've got somebody super flexible, if I need to reinforce with her belt or the back of her pants here, I can. Um, but a lot of times, you'll just be able to kind of get behind. So we're here, I'm grabbing the belt. Again, I'm lifting with my strong abs, my legs. Coming here, I'm picking a side. I'm gonna come to this lapel immediately. I'm already starting to think that I'm choking her. This leg's gonna come back and reinforce. I might lift, get in this squat position. By now, she really should be letting me over. She's gonna feel a lot of relief <laughs> that yeah. I chose to pass and not keep her. Do the double under one more time, and then I'll show you the variation, the over under. So we come here, I've got a grip just kind of on her belt. We're coming up here this side. I like to get here, reinforce, and then we just kind of throw them over and then come into side control. If you've ever seen somebody get <laughs> no <laughs> triangle, it's pretty sad, but it does have some <laughs> um, <laughs> We won't talk about it. For those that have had it happen to them, we'll keep your secret. Um, from here, once we get up here, I mean, in order to triangle me, she's really assuming even if, let's say, probably more likely to be from the under overpass, from here, okay. excuse me, ma'am. Sorry. So, sorry. <laughs> I you want to do that. Once we're here, I would say um, when I'm get when I'm here, it's going to be really hard for her to triangle me from here because I'm putting all her weight that way, um, and she really needs to be able to hit the skate. <coughs> yeah, like completely shift us um, a different direction. So, my focus is once I've got this foot up and I'm lifting her hips, I'm really keeping my um, pressure and my focus and make, getting her hips off the ground and that's going to prevent me from being triangled. Also obviously always being smart with this arm. Anytime you're passing and you've got one arm in you should be really cautious of where you are and what you're doing because um, the triangle can come from nowhere which 